Okay folks, this is where we're currently at now. We're going to be working on the cab of the truck. So front part, windows, the dash, uh, the seats, the uh, back part of the cab, um, the bench seat and the driver's seat. And then moving on to uh, driver's cab accessories. I'm not sure what that is. I think that's like handbrake and gear stick, pedal, steering wheel, glass going in. You do get canopy masks for this, so you can do the inside and outside. Wind wipers I put on last because what I want to do is mask off the uh, windshield in like a D shape and um, do a um, fight light coat of buff, take the mask off and it'll make the window look like they've got a slight hint of dirt over them. Uh, fire extinguisher going in. Um, doors inside of the door you've got an extra piece of material which would be photo etch which is like I think it's like kind of armor plating or protection your front hood and bonnet going on in your front grille they're calling out on the inside of the top of the uh, truck hood to be silver but the inside the rest of the truck they're asking for like a sky green color and I've found a picture, I'll show you the picture and I'm going to roughly do what the picture is because that's a real life truck so all the inside is a sky green colour so I'm going to do it like that and then you put your muffler exhaust system on the side of the cab and then you drop the cab down on top of the truck so this is where we're going to be working is the cab section now okay folks the uh, front hood is all all assembled there's the grill and the front hood this this goes on this section which is the front shield of the truck and this is the other part of the cab and hold that there this section is the cab that go there so it makes up the truck bay is the roof I've used some liquid mask because I need to glue some lights into place so I know I don't get any paint in there. The interior is going to be the uh, green, sky green colour. Here's the internal parts. The inside of the door is going to be green, outside. The other door with handles. Get one of the seats. The other bench seat is built. One of the controls, steering wheel's got to be painted black. The actual steering wheel column and levers is the interior green. This is behind the dash. I'm not sure what that is. But this is a walkway that's got to go on the truck again. That's got to be painted the desert colour. Um, and I've gone ahead and painted the... Uh, now where you can see this. A little... Uh, Fog extinguisher has got to go inside the cab as well. So that's where I'm currently at, guys. Ready for paint now. Okay, folks, you're good about to start spraying the uh, interior. This is the interior color of the truck. Okay folks, we're going to talk about the seats and the colour. The seats are a leather material, which is a black leather. So what I'm going to use is just simple NATO grey. 
seats are going to be weathered anyway and dusty and dirty like the soldiers are getting in and out of the truck so I'm going to do this as a base colour and then I'm going to put dust all over them anyway the frame of the seat is done in semi gloss black they simply estimate not the interior green so I'll spray this Noto black for the leather paint the uh, frame by hand because it's only a small amount and I'll start to show you what that looks like Okay folks, just want to talk about the cab. This is the cab and it's all painted and washed and weathered. I used uh, Vallejo pigments, light sienna, because um, it's a desert vehicle. Um, I want to show you what it looks like before I close it all up because you're not going to see anything. Once I put the uh, doors on and the roof and stuff, you're not going to see all, an awful lot. That's the seats and steering wheel and gear change and pedals and stuff. Here's the dash with all the dials. With all the dials. And the two side doors have got the uh, silver handles. I'm going to uh, butt this all up now and put the roof on. Okay folks, the front cab is all assembled now, I've just got to let these fragile parts dry. Man, this was tricky to put together. These handles, these rails that support the uh, mirrors on both sides are really fragile. This one did end up snapping on me, but I did manage to glue it back together. This heat shield was a pain in the ass, excuse my language, but... To bend it round and get a, a, a nice form shape was one of the hardest things I've found on this kit. It was not perfect, the heat shield. It's, it's come away slightly still. It's not perfectly on there, but it's a war vehicle. So I'm going to put it down to just damage and general wear. So it'll be alright. Once there's a bit of paint on there and weathering and stuff, it should all blend in. But that heat shield was the worst thing on this kit. It's such a pain to uh, make it round. Backlights are on. I've got to put a little bit of mask in the in the clear bits, and then I can paint it. The uh, horn is on top, so this is going to be painted black, like the uh, front pieces. Then do the desert colour. The um, horns on top. They're asking for a grey colour, dark grey or black. Um, on the mirrors you do get some shiny I don't know like they're, they're like thick shiny pieces of like card um, that's these here these shiny pieces that are in the bag That's these things. You get these shiny pieces to go over your mirrors to mimic the mirrors. Um, so yeah, well, I'm going to start painting this now. Also, the front grille's been put together. See, there's a little bit of liquid mask over the front lights. This sits on the uh, front of the truck. Somewhat like that. Um, these are the brackets that go to the chassis and mounts the uh, bumper to the chassis. So this doesn't actually sit on the on the uh, cab bit. This sits around, uh, from the, uh, around the chassis. 
Um, this little piece here is for the uh, blue and red lines. So all these small accessories have got to go on there as well. Okay, folks. Right, the truck's put together now. All the cabs on. The front grills on. So this is pretty much a uh, almost finished truck. This is how the truck's pretty much finished. There is nothing left to go actually on the truck itself. Um, but I have got a slight bit of weathering to do still. And there is some kind of black V that goes on the door on both sides. I'm not quite sure what that means. Um, I'm sure someone will tell me. Um, you do get some little mirror segments to go in into the mirrors. I've got to do those. Paint the uh, horn. And yeah, so I do a couple of washes and stuff, but I'm gonna leave this to one side now. Uh, my next step now is going to be working on the, the actual trailer. Um, I haven't hooked up the uh, air lines, which is the blue and red line. The reason being is because I want to do the trailer, put the trailer in, and then hook up the lines because I don't want to cut them too short or whatever and get it completely wrong. So, next step will be working on the trailer, but this is currently how the truck going to be was there any fit issues no nope, the kit was pretty good no fit issues goes together really well the only downfall is every single part has ejection pins on it which is a pain in the ass you have to clean them all up some parts are a little bit flashy but other than that it's a pretty good kit I'm impressed Um, I've gone for the desert scheme. You could do the NATO camouflage, which is the brown and green black, or you can paint it however you want because it's your model. You can do what you like. But I've gone for the desert scheme. Um, once the trade is finished and the truck's finished, that'd be a completed model. And then the third segment for this little build uh, series I'm doing for this is going to be the tank, which is a M1 Abram tank. That's going to go on the back of the trailer. Um, I've got the kit. I will do a review on the kit after this video has been released. So check that out as well. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch you later, guys.